Hey guys, Ross from DShack Tech, and today I want to discuss techniques on how to transfer files to a new computer um, that does not have a CD drive. Um, the reason why I'm making this video is because I recently got a MacBook Pro Retina, and as you probably know, um, this computer does not come with a CD drive. So after some research and findings, I have some techniques I'd like to share on how to access a remote disk and how to transfer files wirelessly. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Before I begin, I need to clarify that all the computers you see in this video are running OS X Mountain Lion 10.8.4. So the first technique I found is to use remote disk sharing. This requires two computers, while they disk drive of course. Now for this example, I am using a Mac Mini and a MacBook Pro. It is real simple, all you gotta do is go into the computer with the disk drive in it and go into the system preferences. There you will need to find the sharing icon, it will be under the internet and wireless section. Um, from there you will need to check the DVD or CD sharing box. This will allow other computers to access its CD drive as an external CD drive through Bluetooth. Then go into your MacBook Pro, go into your finder, go under devices and click on remote disk. You should then see the name of the computer with the disk drive, click on it and accept the invitation on the computer with a disk drive. Um, from there, you should be able to see whatever is in the CD drive on your laptop. It is a pretty nifty trick that goes around the lacking CD drive of the current MacBook Pro Retinas. Now, of course, this does not cover all the problems such as not already owning a previous computer with a, with a disk drive or not always having that computer nearby. But in the case that you have both and need to install applications from CDs, there is an option for you. The second technique is a well-known ability, um, first released with Lion. It is called AirDrop. Um, it is basically a wireless transfer capability of files and applications between multiple computers. This was probably meant for use between friends, but it can also be used personally between one's own two computers. Using the same computer setup, I can transfer files between computers really easily. Critics will claim that this is what Dropbox is for. Well, not technically. You could use Dropbox for this, yes, of course, but I found it to be not as fast and as direct. Dropbox is in the cloud, whereas AirDrop downloads directly to the computer much faster, um, although you still have to be close, whereas Dropbox is accessible anywhere. Um, well, that's pretty much it for this quick little video about transferring files and remotely accessing a CD drive. Hopefully it helped you out in some way. Um, let me know what you think and what questions you want me to answer um, in another video down in the comment sections below. Um, check my channel, DShack Tech, um, and subscribe for more bio the content. Um, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, on my new um, WordPress blog, dshacktech.wordpress.com, for more written analysis and reviews. Um, thanks for watching, and as always, see you guys next time. You have your vertical pocket with a zipper running down the middle. Um, this pocket is not meant for anything too bulky or big, um, but, but for papers and skinny items. Um, this section is also contains a net. This is where the racing aspect comes into play. It is an extremely interesting take on a racing game and has definitely kept my attention for the week and a half that I have been playing this game. The controls are extremely easy, just requiring a single tap on 